Hi, I'm Paul. Welcome to Cubic Wonder. The animation that you were watching displayed a family of eight cubes and it showed some other beautiful shapes also. This little toy started by just using one cube with 40 colored pieces. Then it kept evolving. I kept stumbling on more and more interesting discoveries almost every other day. I think we'll keep this last frame of the animation and start from the very beginning. We will start with part one and we'll show all of the different shapes that can fit perfectly inside the eight cubes. We show four different colored octahedrons. Each octahedron consists of eight octopieces. They are all perfectly equal in shape and size. The 32 parts from these four octahedrons are contained in each of the eight cubes. But these 32 pieces are not the only ones that are in these cubes. There are eight more pieces. These are eight small tetrahedrons. We'll bring them out for a little look at, but I won't use them right now because we have something else to look at. First, let's take all the pieces out of each cube and just leave eight pieces. I'd like you to see the difference. Four of the cubes show an octahedron in the center. They're all different. We will call these Plato 1 to 4. The four cubes that we call Plato cubes 1 to 4 are all paired off with another four cubes. We will call these Bucky 1 to 4. Notice that the eight octopieces of the octahedrons that were in the center of each Plato cube are arranged around the corners of the Bucky Cube. All the pieces of a Plato Cube are rearranged in the Bucky Cube as if everything is changed inside out, but the order is always kept the same, just like a sweater being worn inside out. Okay, now we can bring in the tetrahedron pieces. Let's start with four yellow tetra pieces first. Now we have a larger tetrahedron formed around the center octahedrons in the four Plato cubes. In the Bucky cubes, we have the opposite. The vertex points of the four tetra pieces all meet at the center point of each of these cubes. Okay, now we'll bring in the four purple tetra pieces for each cube. 
We don't need the corner pieces of the bucket cubes anymore, so we'll take them away. Okay, let's check this out. Let's have a look at the four Plato cubes first. Inside each Plato cube, we now have what you call a dual tetrahedron. It's also a eight-pointed star. This shape was also described as the macabre. It's supposed to have many mystical powers. It was described as the chariot, two different dimensions. And there is an endless amount of information on this on different websites. Now let's check out the four bucket cubes. Each of the eight tetra pieces have a vertex all meeting at the center point of the cube. There are 12 edges in total, all running equal angles to the center. And the late Mr. Buckminster Fuller called this the vector equilibrium. He described this as a perfect balance in space. There's a long name for these eight tetra pieces inside the bucket cube also. It is called the tetra hemi hexahedron. Before we leave the bucket cubes, there are two more shapes I'd like to show you. The first being the cube octahedron. This is a full bucket cube assembly except for the eight corner pieces. This was a very special shape for Mr. Fuller. He called it the dimaxion because all the edges and all the 12 vectors are all in equal length. Finally, we'll show that the cube octahedron can be split into two equal segments. This split may be done in four different orientations, but we'll just show one at this time. We have a perfect hexagon, and notice that three of the triangles are yellow. Now let's check out the other half. The hexagon now shows three purple triangles. This brings us to the end of part one. In part two, I'm going to show you some more interesting things that I've discovered with this new toy. So please hang in there.